So hello guys and welcome to another video and today I will be starting a let's play of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door and Tylin will be joining me in the episode about the prologue so let's get started here. Ahem, today I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago in a strange and far-off land, a big, bustling town thrived. It was a happy town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell on this blessed place. A great, great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the legendary court treasure, and the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh, voice peach? Yep. Alright. Finally, I have a man without toads are watching over me. He's so paranoid. <coughs> I feel all this way out here on a holiday. I don't want to be struck with toads work. I'm so stippling. Once in a while, I want a chance to look around my own. Oh. No. I can't do the voice. But now that I'm doing it, all I see... Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> oh, you buy something? I have this wide assortment of knickknacks, doodads, and special assortments. That's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find the ancient treasure. But the box has a magical lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't much says budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. Oh, so Peach activated the magical map. So yeah, let's get started. So yeah, I already have a save file on here for my like personal playthrough of the game, but we're gonna start one from the beginning here for this Let's Play. So yeah, let's get started. So we're at Mario's house. Is Luigi there? Yep. That's Paracarry from Paper Mario 64. Mail call. How did Luigi's voice be ever talks? <laughs> like this. <laughs> kind of. Wow. Hello. Hello. Hey, bro. Check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. Are you ever talk? Um, not really in this game. <laughs> he, he just makes like different sounds. I'll read it for you. How does that sound? Um, let's see here. Oh, here's Peach. Hello oh, then, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was a side of the box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it... Be too difficult for me to try to go on treasure all by myself. 
I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. Tell me you at Rogue Point. Means you must come. Each. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with this letter. Check it out. Ooh. <laughs> There's the magical map. Is that Rogueport? Yeah, the one, the town in the center is Rogueport. Is um, I think it's kind of like a little outside of the Mushroom Kingdom, since you kind of have to... Mario has to go across the ocean, so we have Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. So we have the prologue, a rogue's welcome. Bowser, help you out in this. Um, Bowser, well, Bowser's kind of like doing his own thing in this game. Like he has his own little sections. He's kind of like the comic relief. Uh, yeah. Ex excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. So yeah, we're in Rogueport now. We're at Rogueport Harbor. that so or of course sir well if you if that's what you think then i won't stop you but uh be careful sir don't say that i didn't warn you so yeah now we're in rogueport that's where the story starts yep, yep. you want to do um some of these characters yeah uh, what kind of voice should I do for this guy? I'll uh, just make one up. Uh, oi, welcome to the Rogue Port, a bit of a natural place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save button to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Okay, hey, let's save. <laughs> Can you do a toad voice right now? Because I'm I have a cold. Okay. You can do that with any of the toads. <laughs> it's gonna hurt my throat. What do you want, pal? Huh? I bring this in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember a princess probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh your money? Or is she your girlfriend? <laughs> hey, hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! I'm gonna do Lord Crump too. Oh, come, come off it. I know you're a noisy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't want to have any anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it. Wouldn't it be right if a little sassy lass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah, bah, <laughs> Boys, we're going to be taking the, this firebrand to our fortress. You, you can do that one. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. <laughs> no, no. Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Let's, let's see, Papach here. Oof, oof, arf, oof. Out of my way, you scalawag. Boom, your ever loving bone. Like a pirate, right? Yeah. Why me a fight, Corkin? <laughs> it ain't nothing so fun as watching a few books duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Ah, 
Yeah, it just looks like trouble over there. Probably the best not to get involved, huh? I want to know how there are people with problems in this town. Of... Dude, if I had an extra life. Like, I'd go anywhere with a smelly loser like you. Hmm, not likely. Oh. Uh. What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Ah, <laughs> it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumpa bomb. Mario's okay. like, Ooh, me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we can't flee from this one, so this is a, uh, um... The boss fight? Yeah. Okay. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak out of the- of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay. So, yeah, let's beat Lord Crump here. Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, and you'll beat him in no time! Okay, so we super guarded him. Easier to do that here than the game too. Yeah, it's a little bit easier. There we go. I remember I can never do it on the game too for some reason. Hey, we got some star points. You did it! You did it! Yes! You got star points! That's what these little things are! Star points! The star points will get will get you show up there. When you get a hundred points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Quick, this way! Phew, that was a bunch of bozos. Let's now sneak out of here. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? Ah, uh, crud, they're bolted. Did they escape? Yep. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but it seems like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Oof. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. Never come into a place like this if it weren't for some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh, is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Toadsworth. Oh, Toadsworth. Wait, hoogly boogly. Finish the master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Oh ho. -ho. Tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bird? <laughs> hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Freak sent you a letter and a treasure map. She told you she'd meet you here in Rugport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire and to fuel for our ship. But don't you know? 
I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I'd assume she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running. Just drop on in. Oh, ho. Oh. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. How fast. Um, Princess Peach? Do you mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always got snabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a second, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you with that treasure map. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then? You, th Do you think? Do you think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh. Oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching the treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're all good, then. Let's go, Mario. Hey, so Goombella joined? So, yeah, Goombella can give, um, basically, like, information about characters. That's Goonther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled and mugged. So, uh, isn't that move called Tattle? Right. Yep. Then we can learn about the location. This is Rogueport Square. This is the center of town, the big business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Okay. First off, we gotta go find my professor. The thing is, since I just got in town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you press, if you feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my clue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Okay, so let's see what some of these NPCs are saying here. Looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. Find that jerk, give him a wow for We have a little Mauser over here. Sniff, sniff. You smell that? It smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeed, Lee. It looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. You look like you don't know nothing. So I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press R, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in it and you recover. You see your head. And Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by the name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter the town and the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important for you or what? He's just a random guy there. Oops, pardon me, Tucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Hey, yeah, I'm talking to you. This guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. You gonna go after him? Yep. Thankfully for me, I know where he lives. <laughs> Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But next time, man, I'm coming back a winner. The odds are for me now. Oh, 
Let's talk to him here. Oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Okay. Ooh, stole your money. Yep. Right. So we got a star piece. And there's one more star piece in um, Roadport Square that we need to get. Or we see, frankly. There it is. Hey, you big old rube, it ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild in an attack. Be careful, live longer. Okay, so we have Professor Frankly here. He's voicing him. Um, you can voice him. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? What the? Who wants me? <laughs> ah, yes, you. Now you are. Wait for it just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it, right? Um, not Goombriel. Or it's not. It, it is a Goom. Hmm. I've got it. You're, Goom you're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Of course, I remember you not to do my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. Even though you think it in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. That guy behind you is. Whoa! Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one. My apologies, I'm just the brick war I'm having a clue on what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to a place like this? We're hoping that you tell us about the legendary treasure that's said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. Why do you I just want to learn about the legendary treasure. You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing what that's what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely past treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while they, uh, still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to find the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how old, the old saying goes. Then with the rhyme that's all, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I remember some of the some of the written lore behind the treasure. And it kinda of matches the old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance of the thousand year door then the stars will light the light that leads the stones of yesterday the stones of yesterday is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned it must be if we're in luck it seems the thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town yet the critical piece of the puzzle Magical map is lost. If only we had that map. But do we? We do have it, Professor. Or well, we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? 
Really? What actually happened? Can I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Stunning, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. Son, are my hero, you're great, fantastic, wonderful. This map, we can locate the crystal stars and just be holding it up in front of the thousand year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Gumbello, Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door. Off we must go this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. So, why do they need to open the thousand year door? Um, there's something mysterious inside. I don't want to spoil it, but they, they um, the x knots are trying to collect the crystal stars. They get that thing that's inside. Oh. So they have to stop. They have to get the crystal stars before them. I was trying to get them, too. Oh. Wait, just hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action commands before... I was trying to do Mario's voice, but I have a little cold right now, so I can't. Play a master art. A bold young lad art, you a quick refresher, and your partner attacks to match what's shown on the screen. Guarding, press A in time with your opponent's attack. If you can remember that, you'll be fine. Right now, down we go. Okay. So let's go into the roadport sewers. And let's make sure the save. Okay, I think there's one star piece over here that we can get. Star pieces are important, right? Yep, you can use them to get badges. There we go. Hey, hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to go see the sun. Ooh, I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Come over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. You can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting the visitors, you must have learned it down here, because it stinks. Ouch, that was cooled. What, you're too good for a fight? If you think you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. No, but nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody, let's get him! So is the old toad in our party? Um, the, or the Goomba. Um... He's watching oh, in the background. Oh, is it like cheer you on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you Oh, the Goomba is fighting in a fair Goomba. Hi, the whole Goomba family tree. But what I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Jump on that and you're the one who'll take the damage. Fair Goomba, fair born. See your hammer and speech. You'll have to jump for him. Get what I'm saying? So do your opponent before you choose an attack map. Ready for those tricky action while attacking and blocking. Now go get them. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you do attack him. Attack first and feel like it. Oh, don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. Good luck. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna um tattle. To get the enemy's HP appearing. That's a Goomba. Um yeah, I'm one of those. In case you hadn't noticed, <clears throat> it says Goombas are the underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Maximum HP is two, attack power is one, and their defense is zero. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Okay. So let's defeat the Goomba here. Ooh. 
late. I was trying to super guard, but I missed. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba. Wow, what a creative name. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. I guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of a spike means that you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Okay. So let's hammer the spiked Goomba. There we go. The super guard. Let's tattle the Paragoomba. That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a with a jump and then it will totally plummet. If it loses its wings, it does become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life. No one ever talks about this. Okay, so let's jump on it to finish the battle. We got star points. Owie! We got some coins from that. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome! You ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from. They don't have, don't have it in for us. They attack, try to hammer them, or jump on them while in the field. Attack success successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. Enemy catches the side of you, be sure to dump him as you go into battle. Okay, so let's continue into the sewers here. Let's go down here. We have another Goomba. Yeah, we can just take down this one in one turn. Like in other Paper Mario games, enemies drop coins, so that's like one thing to know if you're new to the series. Here we go. You easy enemies in here. An item in here. Yep. Okay. Yeah, if you do a first strike in, um, for most of these early enemies, you can take them out in one turn. So that's a good thing to know. Here we go, got a fire flower. So let's hit these two blocks here to cover this pipe. Let's get this Spinia here. What is the thing that went into the right. Oh, that was a puny. Um that will that will be important in um chapter two. That's a spinia, a totally weird creature made from thin papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be easy. Just give it a yeehaw! Okay.
There we go. There should be a hidden block right over here. Here we go. We got pretty lucky. So if we go to badges here, we can equip that. There we go. Killed it with the super guard. So, we see that key there. That's important. You just jump off of the ledge when you get up here. But before we get the key, I'm going to talk to this um chest in this room. You can do this one. Hey you, can you hear me? You can. That's me near the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah everyone else nothing. So see it's so long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me. Lucky me in the chest, it was a real drag. Been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what well, brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not as exactly confident that we can trust this, uh, chest. I think it might be best to, not to mention that we're looking for stars. Oh, track. I just said it out loud, what's wrong with me? Yeah, searching for those are stars, are you? You really are a hero. You're definitely gonna need some I help the help get though. But first you should look for the key to the chest and use it to Yeah, definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Oh well you know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, bring being stuck in a box is no picnic. Counting on you, a great legendary hero. Okay, let's get that key. Here we go, we got the black key. So now let's see what happens. But the big key, yeah. So, man, I'll be big. Let's see, ain't nothing. He fool. All right, for you. Think I was gonna help you. Then I'm gonna spread a little bit of suffering that I've dirt in the Yeah, sorry, but those are the I'm gonna cast an evil travel curse upon Ugly Ooh, you're cursed. Hey, hey, enjoy that sucker. Got what you deserved. Wanna hear all about this oh no. Oh. Now on if you press Y in certain areas you turn paper airplane. But yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. He, oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This is pretty rough, I guess so. I swear to owe you. Ready to stay on the airplane panel like this. Yeah, okay, and you're on the panel now. Try pressing high and then. Control your tiny paper airplane by left, forward, and back. 
play will rise if you kill L and however if you're coaching left square too much go down and start to fall back to the once you start to rise stop L timing is try it now and so aerodynamic humiliation okay just like a little tutorial for the plane mode when you're had enough airplanes, you press B to the plane and get back to normal. To be honest, you can understand how this Yes, I get it. So, uh, wow, just wow, what was that guy's beef? Okay, so now we can get over to the thousand year door. There we go. So OBS stopped recording the game audio from this point on due to a technical difficulty. So I'll have music in the background instead. So sorry about that. I'll double check to make sure it's recording next time, but enjoy the rest of the video. So Tylen had to leave. So I will be voicing Franklin and some of the others from now on. So, oh, Mario Kumbala, look at that. Is that the thousand yard door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. Come, let's move closer. Okay, let's stand on the pedestal here. Professor, what's going on? So we're going to get sweet treat. I really like the new animation there. That looks really nice at the thousand year door. This this remake is just beautiful in general. So yeah, Hooktail's castle is appearing on the magical map. Okay. Yep, so now we have Sweet Treat. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and also under. The first thing is that this map is truly outstanding. Somehow, this map contains a radar-like function. It's showing us the location of the crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star can be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought it was a tad suspicious. Place is called Pedal Meadows. It did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. Well, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Pedal Meadows. If you just find that, you'll get there instantly. Pipe travels efficient. 
See, by the way, Mario, I'm curious how, how you got that map anyway. Well, Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent you to you, Mario? It's Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can imagine this Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off the Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Collecting the Crystal Stars is means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Okay. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around princess about Princess Beach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubted a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me. You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Okay. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about the light that we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario, you can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it is. Well, stuff like this can better be explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No thanks. I already know. <laughs> this is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure. All right, just remember, in battle, you can trick, you can, you, the bigger your audience, the better. Okay, so we got a badge. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Okay, we got Power Smash. It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, it will get much more powerful. What's important is knowing that the effects when you first equip a badge... Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No thanks. Are you absolutely sure? This is the last time it last. You want to practice? No thanks. I see. And just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need flower points to use power smash. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FB too. Did you get all that? But here's hoping that you'll find the pipe the Petal Meadows. Okay, before we get to Petal Meadows, we have a couple things to do. So, let's go into the inn here. So let's see some of the NPCs here. Oi, I used to sail around and run in the wild, it mean my younger days. But I'm a reform sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. We have this little Mauser here. Can't you take a hint now? That means scram. Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person who sings the most normally. Oh, me you ask about? Ah, uh, I'm called Bravio. And I... I am how you say it, a traitor, the richest man in Roadport. Okay, so that's Flavio. Welcome to you, you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podsley's place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we should probably heal Goombella first before we, um do the thing that we need to do. Welcome to the Lone Fuge in the um, Port of Filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Care to rest? It's five coins. Enjoy your stay. 
Okay. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. So let's check out the bad shop here. Welcome, welcome! Feel free to look around. Okay. Big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely house of badges. You are so welcome here. Now, a new custom... You are... I know a new customer when I see one. So let me give me you your, my usual rundown on how the shop works. We have a special curated selection of recommended badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. That covers the basics for explaining our shop, but do you want me to explain it all from the top again? No. Lovely. Then I hope you'll enjoy your time shopping here. Anything else I can help you with? Never mind. Come again. So we have Nostalgic Tunes. Need zero BP to wear this. It's a Nostalgic Tunes badge. It's only one coin. Interested? Let's get that. Thank you very much. So when we equip this, it will change the music. Yep, it changes it to the music from the original game. But over here, we have a star piece. There's one more star piece that I need, but I'll get it right before we go to Petal Meadows. And let's go over here as well. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose my contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Do not an inch, you hear? Oh. Ah, idiot. You stepped on my contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't you stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy new contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Okay, so let's put an order in over at the shop. We also have to buy something too, so... Welcome. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, just wait a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it will take a while. Take back soon, okay? Okay, so let's get a mushroom here. Hey, fella, welcome. Is this your first time in the shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each item they purchase, to up to a max of 300 points. With me so far? Save up enough shop points, and you can get a prize, including some rare items. You find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion, wouldn't you say, fella? Need me to explain that again? Nope. Now with that said, I'm gonna need five coins for the, that mushroom. Wanna buy it, fella? Okay, so we got that. And let's get a honey syrup. So yeah. Let's see. Okay, that should be good for now. One thing that I think is interesting in the remake is that the noose in the center is act you can actually interact with it now. Which I would not expect them to do. But it's pretty funny. But let's go over and fight Gus. But we're gonna whack him with a hammer in Super Guards. Not with a bomb like Walter White. Try the pass without paying. I'm afraid I'll have to whip you. But good. Okay. 
I could take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You gotta fight your way through here. I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Okay, so let's fight Gus here. So let's tattle Gus. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tools from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Okay, so let's use Power Smash here. Okay, missed the super guard there. Okay, but let's use an item. Okay. okay we could possibly get a bingo. Okay, I missed the super guard again. Okay. Okay, I'll put Mario in front this time. Ah, okay. I usually get it, but I guess not this time. Let's see. I'm gonna save those mushrooms for now. Yeah, I think I'm pressing it like a little too um early, I think. Okay, let's use Sweet Treat. There we go. Okay, just defend with Goombella here. There we go, I super guarded that, the one that doesn't, the one that doesn't hurt him, but, okay, let's power smash here. There we go. It wasn't too hard, though. You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think the violence solves everything, don't you? Huh, don't you? Okay, let's go back over to the shop and get a couple things. I'm gonna get that fire flower for the blooper. Okay, there we go. Hey there, kid. You have a minute to learn what it means to fight? To fight with your whole heart? I can see you're brimming with potential, kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting a the big, there's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if there's a question, friendo. 
Who am I? There's someone who call me the Battle Master, and I don't stop him. But I could, without with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life. Traveling, training, uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. Okay. But before we go to, um, Petal Meadows, there's one more star piece that we need. Actually, I think there's one more that I missed. One behind Frank Lee's house. You could actually hit um, roaches and the, they'll give you coins. There we go. I'm gonna save up my star pieces for now. And then there's one more star piece that we missed in Roadboard Sewers. There we go. That's a fun skip. Guess we'll get some extra star points when we defeat these Goombas here. There we go. I'm also have some extra star power here, um, once we get to the blooper. To be just down this pipe here. There we go. So let's fight the big blooper now. So now we can do this. I'm not gonna fight that Goomba now because I already fought a couple. So yeah, let's make sure everything's equipped. We should be good to go. Loop, loop, ouch, that hurt. Okay, so there's the big blooper. So it's helpful if you have a fire flower for this one. Loop, loop. Who just, just up and whack some one tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop. Someone with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustached guy. Bloop, bloop, bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Fre Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Okay, so we can't flee this fight. We'll tattle with Goombella first. That's a blooper, and a really super hum humongous one, too. 
Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. Gross. Gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0, and it attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both of its tentacles, it falls down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles have 3 HP. Now relax, and make some seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Okay, so we can use a fire flower here. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, so the big blooper is down. We got a clear bonus of 50 coins. That's actually new for the remake. And we leveled up. And of course, we're gonna go BP first. I highly recommend upping, um, upgrading BP for the first few levels. Especially since you get a lot of badges in this game. And HP in FP Plus can always um, kind of be used to like upgrade HP and FP if you need it. But yeah, so we're going to be starting Chapter 1 now. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.